Okay, Shalom, I'm I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Warkakadash. Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the elders of GMS. A salutation to Yahakim, that's faith based Israelites, Israelite foreigners. Um, you know, the, just the brethren that believe in the spirit of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. And I always mention the Israelite foreigners, which is pretty much what this uh, uh, little quick lesson is all about. Uh, which this thing with the Gentiles is still going on and on and on. It's just going to continue on until, you know, pretty much till the two-thirds get burnt up out of here because they're always going to love their master and, and hate their brethren, you know. They're always going to remain in that uh, wicked-ass Gentile state of mind, okay. Um, but anyway, these... You know, you got to wake up to the Gentiles because they're still trying to use it as to trying to bring this, these Edomites, the so-called white man, into this, you know, or any other nation, you know. Because first of all, I must add that the only ones that's going to truly and with sincerity, that's going to, with truth and, and faith and sincerity, is going to believe that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is our Lord and Savior, who died on the cross and was resurrected, and he's the son of the Most High, Yahweh Shai, is only Israelites. That's it. And that's what you're going to find out. All these other nations just go alone just to get along. You know? <laughs> that's pretty much what these churches is full of. A lot of demons and Gentiles that's going alone just to get along, you know? In a foolish state of mind, man. You know? But anyway, here we go. We're starting with this 1 Corinthians 12 and 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto the dumb idols, even as ye were led. You know, because we broke the laws and the commandments of the Heavenly Father, he scattered us amongst the other nations. And what worse thing can be that can there be living among the other nations? is heathens, which pretty much their whole lifestyle, just the sight of them that vexes you. You know, and then they add on their false gods and their the abominable things they do and eat. You know, that's a curse, you know. But let's go back to one now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren. That brethren, is, you know, brother is ak. You know, what's it in the heat on uh, the Greek? I'm not sure I can easily look it up here, but it's, um, brethren, akim, you know, which makes it plural. All right. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Brethren, okay, just going into the word brethren here, well, I might as well have to, just to give you an understanding of who he's referring to. And this is not hard to understand. It's just, it's pretty simple. It's basic, you know. Who is he talking to now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren? Not anybody and everybody, you know. Brethren, going into this word brethren, Right here. Strong's G80. Adelphos. 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 For brethren. Adelphos. Now, brethren, let's see what. Who is he referring to? Okay. A brother, whether born of the same two parents or only of the same father or mother. No, of your mother, you're not brothers. When your mother have a child by another man, you're not brothers. You know, what if that what if that nigga was a what if that demon was a Edomite? Because whoever the mother lays with, that's who that child's going to be. If it's a Hamite, that child that child is a Hamite. No matter if that mom is an Israelite woman or not, it doesn't matter. Nothing matters about the mom. Nothing. Everything is decided by the father, the seed. Okay, so two parents or only the same father or mother having the same national ancestor belonging to the same people or countryman any fellow or man a fellow believer united to another by the bond of affection a fellow believer again the of only can be an, an israelite all right um an associate in employment or office brethren in Yahweh Shai, his brothers by blood, his brothers by blood, you know, all men. See, it goes off in its own point. It goes off in its own point, you know. See, all men are not brothers. 
there's three classifications of men. Not all men are brothers. And that's what you're going to learn. That's what you will learn if you humble yourself and accept the truth as it is and leave all that madness you learned before and cast it off. You know, that all men are not brothers. And these three classifications of men, the children of men, which are the Chinese, the Japanese, the Hamites, and the so on and so on. All right. Then we have the children of the wicked, who is the so-called white man, who are the biblical Edomites. Again, who are the biblical Edomites? Those are the, the third part of men. Those are the, the another classification of men, the children of the wicked. And then we have the children of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, the children of Yahweh, which are the Israelites. All right. There's three classifications. Okay. Apostles, again. So going up where it's on point, having the same national ancestor, belonging to the same people or countrymen. So he's only talking to a specific group of people, which are the Israelites, all right? It's not hard to understand that. It's not hard. So get a better understanding about this Gentile thing, this brethren. So oh, using a better example with the, with the example of Moses here. I pulled it up. I thought I had it here. So here we go. Here we go. Now, showing you that again, that they're not, we're all not brothers, man. We're not all the same, okay? You know, and, sh and, and and furthermore, showing you that he's only talking to the Israelites. All right. And it came to pass in those days when Moses was grown, that he went out unto his brethren. There we go with brethren. That brethren there is, it should be Akim. It just has Ak. All right. And looked on their burdens and he spied an Egyptian smiting in Hebrew, one of his brethren. So why didn't it say he spied and a brethren, a brother e Egyptian smited in Hebrew? Why didn't it say that, you know? So but so there's a difference there. Pursuant to Exodus eleven and um seven. Popular scripture we used to bring out a lot. You know, let me just read it. This is um Exodus Exodus um eleven and seven says um but against any of the children of of Israel you see again listen but against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast that ye may know how that the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel again that the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. Now, that's not hard to understand, is it? You know, and there's many scriptures to back it up, man, you know. He's just talking to his brethren, you know. Romans 9, powerful, powerful chapter. Powerful chapter. All right. But um let me get um um oh let me continue reading this. And he spied an Egyptian smiling in Hebrew one of his brethren and he looked this way and that way and when he saw that there was no man he slew the egyptian the heathen and hid him in the sand <laughs> that's bad man that's bad man you know like i said you just slow down and read these scriptures that's what they are then you get some understanding unless you're just totally blind ain't nothing i can do about you being totally blind by your but shim your shy now, Tobit 13 and 2, for he doth scourge and have mercy. He leadeth down to hell and bring it up again. Neither is there any that can avoid his hand. And the power of Yahweh is powerful, man. There's nothing we can do. And all he's doing is uh, executing judgment. He's, he's punishing his children of Israel. And that's why we've been scattered amongst the other nations and, we've, and referred to as Gentiles. All right. So it says, confess him before the Gentiles. Ye children of Israel, for he hath scattered us among them. Scattered us among the heathens, man. You know? He scattered us among these heathens. You know? You know? Which solely is to punish us, to vex that living hell out of us, man. You know? <laughs> That's pretty much what it's for, man. You know, to punish us. Punish the children of Israel, you know, for going off. You know? Um, I was looking for something. Okay, let me, uh, but let me close with this one here. Um, um, and I, and I proved my point of showing you that it's uh, those uh, 
the Gentiles or pretty much Israelites because you know I've been going at it with a couple of people especially a couple of these people that are actually uh, call themselves priests and call themselves reverends you know under these labels with bald heads bald faces smooth faces baby booty faces and shit you know it's amazing man you know these people better repent and correct themselves man that's what this is all about in order for you to get delivered because that's who the Lord's coming to you know look you know first of all the Lord said to um uh to serve him in uh, spirit and in truth, man, in truth, you know, and that's what this ministry is all about, but the spirit and truth, you know, it's all about Yahweh Shai in spirit and in truth, it's what this is all about, it's all about Yahweh Shai in spirit and in truth, all right, we're not, sep we're not, we're not accepting any damn thing again, which we're constantly going over, man, we're constantly mentioning that, you know, we're not going alone to get along. You know, because it, it 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 looks good as far as numbers. You know, man, that's most high gonna destroy these large groups like Nate's uh, IUIC, man. He's gonna destroy them, man. Literally, he's gonna destroy them, man. You know. So let me get um. Let me get um. Oh, okay. Romans. I don't know why I keep putting that. Here we go. Just us, baby. Just us, baby. Romans 9. I say the truth in Yahweh Shai, Maashiach. I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness unto in the Holy Spirit. And this is Paul here. And who is Paul? Paul is a part of the brethren. And, you know, Paul was a... Um, a Benjaminite, a hell of a Benjaminite, <laughs> you know, of the 12 tribes of Israel, you know, it says that I have great heaviness and continuous sorrow in my heart, for I wish that myself were a curse from, a curse from Yahweh Shai for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. So it's according to your fathers, man. It's all according to your fathers. You know, but we're trying to show you here that those Gentiles are the bre are brethren, man. You know, and the Lord is only dealing with the brethren. He's only dealing with Israelite. He's only dealing with the elect brethren. That's it, man. That's it. You know, there's no other way you can get in this. You know, ain't no creeping through no uh, back cracked window, a cracked back window. <laughs> you know, slithering in like a damn snake. You other know, nations, man, gonna be judged, man. You guys are going into slavery. And you know, Edomites, a so-called white man, you're, man, you're going into slavery and after a thousand years, we're going to burn your asses up, man, you know? But in that thousand years, you're going to catch nothing but hell, the so-called white man, you know? Our oppressor, the oppressor, you know? The devil who the Bible speaks of, all right? So it says, for I could wish that myself were a curse from, from Yahweh Shai for my brethren, my kinsmen, According to the flesh. No, that's just digging. This is just, we already went into brethren. That's going to kinsmen. That's going to kinsmen. I don't know. I never looked it up. Not I don't remember ever looking it up on kinsmen. On the blue letter may have, but I don't know. Come on. It's going to take a sweet time because Satan don't like these messages, man. Satan don't like this truth, you know. These devils don't like this truth. Strong's G, 4773. Sungenes. Sungenes. Sungenes in the Greek. Of the same kin. A kin too related by blood. <laughs> related by blood. On your father's side, in a wider sense of the same nation, a fellow countryman, in a wider sense of the same nation, the nation of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel, 
the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay. It says, for I could wish that myself were a curse from, from Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, from Yahweh Shai, the anointed for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of the Most High and the promise. Again, who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and <laughs> the services of Most High and the promise? Who are the fathers? Whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh Mashiach came, who is over all God blessed forever. Amen. Man, you know, the water Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, Baraka the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, for waking us up and bringing us out of that foolish mind, man. You know, it's, you know, you, you got to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to get, you know, to bring you into this, this beautiful thing, man, to wake you up to this, just this simple fact a simple fact you know so i hope you were edified you know till next time lord willing shalom